Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online and our Templar's journey. We are going to pick things up right where we left off last time. Uh, I think... Why, there's a side quest back here. A couple of things to do back in town. Let's try to go unlock the Vasir Dadanat Mine. Let's do that. Hope you guys are doing well today, and thank you very much for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here. I do appreciate you. I kind of wish that toggling run did not take auto walk off. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, for some reason I thought it did. So we can we can shift to run while auto run is going. Oh, hi. I kind of thought you guys were just going to let me walk right in here, but apparently that is not the case. We have arrows coming in. Oh, there we go. Alright, we've unlocked it, and now the next objective is to search the mine. There we go. Bloody note. Okay, don't let anyone else see this note. Not even our comrades can be trusted. We've got to give this one up. Coin isn't worth our lives. You haven't seen it yet, what I've seen. But they're what they're talking about sending us back in to try to deal with the mess, and believe me, they won't be paying enough for that. Problem is, Rathen has some real loyalists in our ranks. They'll kill us if we try to run too early. Got a plan though. Lemma is making the squads and planning the route. We'll get ourselves split from the rest, and then make a break for it. If this is as bad as I hear it is, they'll probably just assume we died and never come looking for us. Okay, so yeah, some soldiers were trying to to run away from what they saw was their inevitable doom down here. That bodes well. Okay, I can maybe hit the lever? No, no, no lever. Alright, maybe a different way down eventually here. I love that not only do we do so many of these little instance dungeons, but that they each have a map. I love having the map.
All right, let's have a look here. Uh, maybe we just go into HP for a level. That could be okay. We could get Solar Flare. Conjure a ball of solar energy to heave at an enemy. Also grants in power for 5 seconds, decreasing the damage of your heavy attacks against monsters by 145%. That's kind of a cool interaction with our heavy attack. Kind of gives you a reason to do those weapon swings. Let's take a look at the morphs of Uppercut. Dizzying Swing also sets the enemy off balance. Hitting off balance enemy stuns them. That could be really good. And then Wrecking Blow grants you in power and major berserk. I like, I kind of like the stun. Master Rethan, you'll be happy to hear that your scheme is working perfectly. Well, maybe not perfectly, but well enough. The most recent batch of laborers came in yesterday. They were a sluggish bunch, wary too, but the promise of a few more drakes got them moving. They should make a fine batch. That alchemist of yours, Gavros, is it? He set up shop in the old Daedric Ruin. You should see it. Haven't been around that many bottles and burners since my youth. For my days, I was... I didn't... I thought it cut off, so... I was finishing the sentence on my own, but apparently there's a, a second page. He says he's working on some variation of the formula. You might want to ask him about it. The air in his lab has gotten thick as my auntie's moral porridge. Okay. And now we need to go search the Daedric Ruin, which is going to be back that way. This uh, poison deals more damage to us than anything else we've come up against yet. It must deal just percentage-based damage.
Subject K-14 died of head trauma some hours after the mercenaries restrained her, administered the formula, but transposition was not successful. This confirms my hypothesis. Blood pressure must remain consistent until the last possible moment. Death prior to infusion results in only partial transposition. This explains some of our previous failures. A powerful sedative could reduce premature death, must conduct more trials. Subject R32, a perfect transposition. The drip method seemed much more effective in terms of yield and purity. Unfortunately, duration of the procedure has dramatically increased. Rate of output may be insufficient for sale, must be faster. Subject S24, converting the formula from a liquid to a vapor proved easier than expected. The results are promising. Subject exposed to vapor exhibits signs of transposition immediately. Unfortunately, the procedure drove the subject into a violent frenzy. Recommend sturdier restraints for future test subjects. S24 Addendum. The subject remains alive despite complete transposition. Defies all existing scholarship and calculation. Violent and erratic behavior has increased significantly. Recommend we suspend experiments until the side effect is resolved. Okay. Hmm. So they've created like undead super soldiers or something. Maybe they were trying to sell them. Uh, for profit, I'm assuming. Uh, find Gavros. Okay. you. You've made a terrible mistake in coming here. Do you feel it yet? The cold rush through your veins, the stiffness in your joints. Only a matter of time now. Only a matter yeah, tell me what's going on here. <laughs> you really haven't figured it out. You're denser than those stone fiends. Master Reethan brought me on to study a Daedric text, a formula for turning living flesh into a substance akin to ebony. Not a perfect match, but close enough. And you lost control of it? Something like that. But what does it matter? I'll be frozen solid soon. Black as midnight. A commodity. Nothing more. Hmm. <laughs> Ironic. You mean to rob me, I suppose. The scrolls just there have a care with it. Wealth always comes at a price. Is there no cure for this? None. Well, none that I've discovered anyway. I speak modestly when I say that if there was a cure, I would have found it already. So you've given up. I guess I could squander my remaining hours searching for a remedy, but I'm an alchemist, a daedrologist. We don't trouble ourselves with things like hope. I leave that nonsense to priests and children, the mentally ill. How did you become afflicted? Why do you even care? Oh, fine. I altered the formula, turning the liquid decoction into a vapor. It proved to be very effective. Unfortunately, it was nearly impossible to contain. Hence, this. Why would you agree to this in the first place? What? Afflicting all these miners? Oh, spare me your crude moral outrage. They were wastrels, laborers that were too ignorant or too lazy to find work anywhere else. This is as meaningful a contribution as they were likely to make. Ah, oh, suddenly I don't feel bad for you at all. You have no remorse then? None. I'd invite you to kill me, but given that I'll be dead soon anyway, it's hardly worth the effort. I mean, I wouldn't mind anyway. We gave it a shot. I wish they let us do it, because I feel like that guy was a jerk. Um, okay, so... Take the mysterious formula. Yeah, we don't want to leave without the formula. Okay, and then I think we're done here.
Ah, I'm glad to see you made it back in one piece. So, what have you learned? Anything? Uh, yeah, unfortunately an alchemist named Gavros was turning miners into some kind of false ebony. What? Well, that sounds ghastly. To think that my own brother would be capable of such a thing. We must move quickly. Did you find any evidence? I'll need something concrete if I'm to convince the Hlalu trade barons to intercede. This is the Daedric formula Gavros was using. Well done. I have a final task for you, if you're willing. I must take this to the trade baron, Councillor Ryveth. He's staying at the Balmora Inn. Alas, Benna has many contacts in town. If he hears that I'm meeting Ryveth, he may try to flee. What would you have me do? Travel to the Rethan Manor House and detain Benna. Once I've explained manners to Ryveth, he'll send Hlalu constables to collect my brother. After this, I'll ask nothing more of you. You have my word. So you really had no idea what was going on in the mine? That the men I worked tirelessly to hire were being used as fodder for some vile experiment? Absolutely not. It's appalling. Why would I have sent you to discover what was going on if I already knew? Well, you said you handle hiring. Did you hire Gavros? Yes, I hired him at my brother's insistence. Something about valuable books and scrolls found in the shrine. We planned to sell them off once Gavros translated them. That's what I thought, anyway. Wait. Gavros is still alive? Well, he's dead now, killed by his own formula. I see. That is unfortunate. It's really not unfortunate. No, he was a jerk and he got what he deserved. Foul decoctions and poisoning innocent miners. It is what you get, yeah. How long will you be meeting with this counselor, Raveth? Not long. He tends to be brusque. Once I've explained the situation, he'll waste no time bringing Benna in for questioning. It will be brief, I assure you. And what do you think the council will do? They will punish him. Severely. He'll definitely lose his share of the estate and the ebony mine. He may even lose his life. In either case, I'll have to bear the weight of our oh. family assets alone. I'm sure it'll be a tough life. Let's see. So, we're heading over to the manor. Um, well, yeah, that's not good. Defeat ah, the assassin. Uh -huh. the piece of the puzzle. Time to tie up loose ends. I hope you're not somebody we know. Our work is almost complete. Remain watchful. With any luck, that, that adventure I conscripted will clean out the remaining stone abomination so we can begin again. This time without Benar mucking things up. Tie off all loose ends and make sure it looks like they killed each other. It needs to be convincing enough for the council. When your work is done, meet me at my residence in Belmora. I'll have further instructions for you and your first payment. As promised, this will, this will to be a lucrative endeavor. M. Okay, so we've been double crossed. Or, or crossed. We've been crossed. So, there's that. Let's see. We are going. Where are we going? We're going here. Back to town we go. I, I do like the twists and turns in the story. Each each side quest, you you can't expect it to be as straightforward as it at first seems. They all typically have some kind of twist in them, which is really nice because you know that's what keeps it really fresh. 
can't believe Lord Vivek wouldn't see worshippers today. He's a living god. I'm sure he was just busy. He should have waited longer. Somebody mentioned that I can get persuasion from joining the, the Fighters Guild. Maybe I go do this really quick. Because I, I don't want to get into like another conversation or dialogue option where I can't use those extra options. I, I don't have any points to spend right now, so it might not help me right now, but let's go see what is involved in this. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, we took your seat. The Fighters Guild is always ready for battle. It's what we live. What's the Fighters Guild? What rock did you just crawl out from under? We're an elite fighting force with allegiance to no one but our fellow guild members. Mm -hmm. You look like you'd be good in battle? Yes. What do you say? Want to join the guild? Then welcome aboard, and let me be the first to say what a fine addition to the guild you're going to make. With you at our side, we'll have the Daedra on the run in no time. Okay, so now that we did that, if we go here, we now have guild, fighters guild. Yes, intimidating presence. And so that's one of them. So persuasion must be one of the other guilds. Let's see. Do we only have one guild here in this town? Yeah, we'll have to find the other guilds eventually. I think we can join them all, right? Just to get access to their passives. All right, so we're doing this without intimidate or without persuade. It'll probably just come down to uh, just the story playing itself out. Malarithan. What a sweat. I'm going to need a stiffer drink. Hold still. Stop weaving. Um, below. Okay, they're below. What did I miss? Oh, they're hiding back here. You don't appear to be holding my drink, so I'm sure I have no interest in you. Off with you. You must be Counselor Raveth. I am. Young Mahler and I were talking about the sudden success of his mining enterprise, built on some irregularities that I prefer not to discuss. Not that it's any of your business. Who are you? Why are you meddling in Tlalu business? I doubt Mailer gave you a, a true account. I found these orders on an assassin sent to kill me. My, my. This is damning. Dear Mahler I like that he gets the paper in his hands. business around his brother's neck. And yours. A prudent, albeit sloppy affair. House Tlalu can ill afford such a scandal, and I hate to be lied to. Kill Mahler, and I will reward you. Oh, just kill him. Why don't you want him taken alive? What would I do with him? Chain him to a post? <laughs> His life no longer serves the house's interests. I don't expect an outlander to understand, but this needs to be done. Honestly, I doubt he'll give you a choice in the matter. Okay, where can I find him? His city residence, I expect. Just across the river. Do be quick about this. I'm anxious to be done with a brother's wreath on. Did Mailer give you that scroll? No. What scroll? Oh boy. Don't tell me there's more to this fetching disaster. Well, the scroll contains a formula that could turn people into, like, ebony stone zombies. So, yeah. Does it now? Listen carefully. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone else. If Marla has this formula on him, bring it to me. The reward will be significant. We cannot let this get out, and we cannot let it fall into the wrong hands. Why do I feel like this guy's hands would still be the wrong hands? What will House... Hialu do about this situation. By the three, what a mess. I'll put some of my Oathmen on it. Oathmen I can trust. If we can clear out the riffraff, it might be salvageable. If not, we'll simply collapse the thing. Better to bury it than let some fool stumble upon Marla's folly. Fair enough.
you. How did you? Bah, I'll finish this myself. Ooh, he has an iron sword of frost. It's a one-handed sword, but it, it does more damage than our two-hander. So there's that. We don't have a shield or anything, do we? I don't think so. Oh, here's a two-handed. That's oh, a frost staff, not not something we want to use. Yeah, we don't have any shields. And we kind of have our two-handed skills we need to keep a two-hander on. Maybe we'll have to visit a vendor at some point to see if we can just buy a better weapon, you know? I feel like it's probably time. This is the starting axe, I think, that we have here, so... We are just gonna make a run for it. I don't suppose there would be... Some guild traders. I'm not really sure if that's like a weapons market or like an auction house type of deal. Let's go investigate. What is it? Um. Hello there. Okay, you don't sell weapons. Trade will continue. You don't sell weapons. Tell me, do you really think the Mages Guild excellent decision? I hereby name. Keep your eyes on this. Okay, so whatever these guys sell, they, they don't sell any weapons. So, there, there's that. I guess I haven't really seen a weapons vendor yet at all. Quietly now. Is it finished? Yes. Well then, this unfortunate little tale comes to an end. I've already dispatched some of my best agents to clean up Rethan Manor. We'll tend to Marla's apartment and the mine next. Well done. Now, what of this mysterious scroll? I have it right here. Excellent. Best hand it over to me. Something so dangerous should not fall into the wrong hands. House Flalu can keep it safe, or destroy it if we deem it necessary. This will earn you some favor with our house. I'll even double your pay. How about I just destroy the scroll, that way nobody gets their hands on it. You sniveling little sweet. <laughs> Do you know how valuable- You like Never that. Mind. What's done is done. But See, don't he was expect use any it. extra coin from me now. You'll have what was promised for killing Marla. Oh, that's fine. There's a two-headed mace here. There we go, we were just talking about the need for a new weapon, and we got a new weapon, so that's pretty awesome. Here we go, the Mages Guild will give us Persuasion, so between the Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild we'll get Persuade and Intimidate. Okay, what else were we in the middle of? We were investigating these different points for Vivek. Um, yeah, let's let's head out and we'll check out the swamp. 
Can we get out of the city this way? I don't think so. Sure, it's Vea. House Redoran isn't emptying its coffers so you can chase your own tails out here. You pay the War Claws well, because the War Claws are the best there is. We have the kitten scent. It's just a matter of time before my warriors catch her. Of course, Ferrara. Just make sure she doesn't get out of the swamp. I'll take my soldiers and guard the eastern paths. In case she... Ah, the Counselor's Lackey. I understand you've made significant progress in your search for Vea. As a matter of fact, so have we. This whole ordeal will be over soon, and then you can be on your way, Outlander. Over? What makes you say that? My mercenaries have spotted Vea skulking about the northern portion of the swamp. Between my soldiers and Fair Haraz war claws, the Counselor's daughter will soon be home safe and sound. Do you know about Ulrin's exile? Vea's brother. <laughs> it's a sad story. Killed one of his own soldiers to protect an Ashlander of all things. I think they were being too lenient when they simply exiled him. But that's how they treat the privileged few. So he killed the Redoran soldier? Ulron always had an unnatural attraction to the Ashlanders and their savage ways. He felt that an Ashlander life was worth more than a Redoran life. The Council didn't agree with his assessment. This will all be over as soon as Ferhara finds Vea. Who are these work laws? Khajiit mercenaries of the highest order. For members of a lesser race, Ferhara's warriors are surprisingly effective. I employ them to bolster our forces, between obligations to the Pact and other matters. House Redoran is spread thin of late. The Counselor hired me to find his daughter, and that's what I plan to do. As you say, Fair Haraz war claws take their contract as seriously as you do, however. Get in their way, and I can't guarantee your safety. We'll keep that in mind. Fair Hara assumes the Counselor's minions will not present a problem for the war claws. Yes, Captain? The Outlanders have been warned, Fair Hara. I leave everything else to your discretion.
stupid war claws. Now I know how a mouse feels. By the three! You really shouldn't sneak up on a person like that. If you're working with those mercenaries, I assure you, you won't take me without a fight. I'm working with Neryu. I have information concerning your brother. Oh, right. Neryu mentioned something about that. Look, I can't wait to hear what you learned. But the swamp is crawling with mercenaries. There's a cave to the northeast. We can talk there. Lead on, I'll follow you. Unfortunately, there's a mob of those beast people between here and the cave. I was going to try and sneak past them. But every time I get too close, I think one of them catches my scent. All right, well, I'll deal with them. You get You're to the cave. You're going to tackle that mob of fur and claws. Mm -hmm. We have I'm armor. Impressed. Meet me at the cave when you're finished. I think we have a lot to talk about. Oh, and try not to get killed. I really want to know what you came all this way to tell me. <laughs> I'll see you in the cave shortly. Meet me in the cave to the north when you finish with the mercenaries. All right, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Ouch. Warp lost. Let's flay this outsider. What do you think of my luxurious accommodations? It's got dirt and rock, fungus and a poultry fire, all the comforts of home. <laughs> anyway, you said you had information about my brother, Ulrun. What did you find out? According to the House Redoran Registry, your brother Ulrun was stripped of his rank and exiled. No, that can't be right. Ulrun's honorable and noble. He's a model soldier. What could he have possibly done to warrant being banished? According to Captain Briven, Urin killed one of his own soldiers to protect an Ashlander. What? My brother has always been interested in the Ashlanders. Even showed them a kindness the rest of the house doesn't approve of. But for him to kill someone, especially one of his own soldiers, something terrible must have happened. Any idea where we can find these Ashlanders? They may be able to tell us about the incident. I know the tribe that Urin liked to help. Brought them supplies and such. He'd go and visit their camp whenever our father wasn't paying attention. Will you go with me to talk to them? Wait, someone's coming. She can handle herself just fine, hero. Vea, grab your things. It's time to go. Go? Why? What's going on? The war claws are marching toward this cave along with half the House Redwin soldiers in Balmora. We need to go now. Damn it. They must have followed us. I'll get my stuff. Ah, dealing with an arrogant, impatient, overconfident young woman. Now I know how a mother must have felt. <laughs> I like these two a lot. Need to move. These are great it characters. Those damn cats long to find this place, not with their sense of smell. What do you suggest? The back tunnels. Better than heading out the front door and right into the main contingent of Redoran troops. Councillor Eris brought additional soldiers from town. He's intent on getting his daughter, and he may have the numbers to do it. So the back tunnels it is? One more thing. The back tunnels wind their way through territory that House Redoran recently acquired. We may run into some resistance, but it shouldn't be as bad as what's waiting outside the front of the cave. All right, we'll have to be careful then. Does the ceiling look unstable to you? Hmm. 
Search everywhere. Captain Privet thinks the Counselor's kitten might try to escape through these tunnels. Damn! Those cat bastards are harder to shake than a blind date. I can't get captured and taken back to my father. Not when I'm this close to finding my brother. That must be the way out. I just hope there aren't any red ones up there. Oh no, we're surrounded. And that's my f father ruins everything. I'm so close to finding my brother and he shows up to drag me back home. Well, I'm not going back without a fight. I'll cause a distraction, you get out of here. You, you do that for me. Thanks. I guess. But what can you possibly do against all those soldiers? My father brought the whole damn army with him this time. Well, he asked me to find you and set up a meeting. I might as well give him a progress report. Clever. Tell my father whatever he wants to hear. That might actually work. Afterward, meet me at the Ashlander camp to the south. My brother would often visit that particular tribe. It's as good a place as any to start. Will you meet with your father after you find your brother? For real? Once I find Oran and make sure he's alright, I'll meet with my father. But that meeting will be on my terms, not his. And tell him to call off his soldiers, or I might change my mind. Sounds I good. Buy some time. Halt! Who goes there? Uh, 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 Stand down. Relax. These outlanders work for me. The captain reported that he had seen you in the area. There are also multiple reports that Vea has been spotted. Tell me, have you seen my daughter? I uh, won't sleep well until yeah, she's home, sure. safe and sound. I thought we agreed you wouldn't use any other outsiders. I also said that the captain has his own resources. The War Claws report to Briven, not me. He did say that. Look, <laughs> we're all just he was trying very specific. to get my daughter home safely. Now... Tell me what Vea's thinking. That she'll meet with you, but on her own terms. All of these soldiers have scared her away. It was a gamble, I admit. An opportunity I couldn't let slip away. You won't make me feel guilty about trying to find my daughter. So, where and when will Vea meet with me? Soon. She asked me to do one more thing, and then she'll be ready to meet with you. Very well. We'll do this her way. Bea can be as stubborn as her mother sometimes. But tell my daughter that my patience won't last forever. Next time, I expect Vea to be with you. Or I might just let Captain Briven do this his way. I'll let her know. Do as I command, and let them pass. Alright. We are meeting her down here to the south at the Ashlander camp.
Well, those certainly aren't Ashlanders, not with those tails. This is disturbing. I can't believe this. Why allow the war claws to run roughshod over the camp like this? What's House Redderin thinking? Oh, the, what in the name of the three they came in and with killed the Ashlanders? the Ashlanders. You're sure this was the camp? My brother often visited this camp. Took me along a couple of times. It used to be such a vibrant place. So full of life. I know House Redderin wants to expand along the western coast, but I never expected they'd set the war claws loose like this. Do you think your brother and the Ashlanders are still here? If Ulran was here, he'd never stand for the war claws invading the camp. He told me the Ashlanders were the same as you and I. Different beliefs don't necessarily make people bad. We need to see if we can find out what happened here. I will look around and see what I can find. I really want to help, but Nario won't hear of it. We don't get our hands dirty unless there's a writ attached. She's so fond of reminding me. We'll hang around and wait for you to find something before we move in. In the meantime, stay out of the way of the war claws. Bea, I don't think this is a good idea. We're trying to keep you out of House Brethren hands, remember? You're not my parent, Naryu. I can take care of myself, even if the Mother of Blades doesn't think so. Damn it, Bea. You know I hate that title. <laughs> To the warriors of Scrib Battalion, including the soldiers of House Redoran and the mercenaries of Ferhara's War Claws, Scrib Battalion is tasked with reclaiming the Kudanat Mine and the surrounding countryside from Ashlander squatters. Ashlanders mistakenly believe that all land is free. They will resist our efforts to clear them from the specified sites. With this in mind, heed the following orders. Do not use force against the Ashlanders unless absolutely necessary. A peaceful transaction at territory is preferred over taking the area through violence. Allow the Ashlanders to leave the vicinity, provided they comply with the Redoran laws. If any Ashlanders resist, disarm the agitators and imprison them for the duration of the engagement. If force must be used, make sure it is applied swiftly and to maximum effect. So if you have to kill, kill everybody, kill them immediately, and move on. So I think they probably did number four, but then again, there are no bodies, no blood. So maybe they took them prisoner and locked them up somewhere. Let's hope for that. Let's hope we can do some good here. Oh, here we go. Here's a wise woman. If I'd realized how popular this camp was going to be with Outlanders, I would have moved the tribe ages ago. You don't appear to be one of the heretical invaders, but looks can be deceiving. I'm looking for what Ulran Relith. Ah, Ulran the Exile. He disgraced his family and lost his status, but remained true to his heart. Ulran is here. He tried to stand against the Redorans, just as they detained me within this yurt. Where is he now? I assume they dragged him off to the mine, along with most of the tribe who refused to let those tribunal dogs walk all over us. Or should I say tribunal cats in this instance? Hmm. Be wary. The mine will be as protected as the camp. Maybe even more so. Are they putting them to work? Are they turning them into slaves? Tell me more about the mine. It's a small hole in the ground. But it served us well until the Redorans and their war claws arrived. Now they toss my people aside and lock the door. War claw Irgazar carries the key, but there is a spare in the supply yurt. I'll get the key and locate Ulrin. Get the key to the mine from either the war claws commander or the supply yurt, whichever suits your needs. Perhaps you'll find what you seek within Kudanot's depths. Why didn't they send you to the mine with the rest of your people? To keep the head and the body separate. Hmm. As long right, as right, here, right. You I can't, can't leave them. My people hope yeah, advice. exactly. And I certainly can't compel them to rebel against Unfortunately, that's really smart. We can help you escape. I have no doubt. However, my place remains with my people. At least for now. The war claws have treated me well so far. They believe I can make their tails fall <laughs> off if I so choose. Who am I to dissuade such creatures from their beliefs? <laughs> right. That's good. I'm glad that she's being well treated. Now, everybody else is probably being worked to death, but it's fine. I need healing.
This game really compels you to keep playing because the stories that play out just kind of pull you along. You know, you want to see the next thing that happens. You want to see the evolution of the story. You want to see the climax and conclusion. We're yeah. just going to burn them? Even the rhetoric? The captain called them traitors and savages. Said the good roasting was more than they deserved. Captain's a bad guy. We kind of always knew that. He's always kind of a jerk to us, at least. Ouch. I killed the little creature on accident instead of hitting either of them. That's actually funny. Ow, ow, ow. We got knocked on our ass. I like that I am having to dodge and kind of learn more about the uh, combat mechanics and stuff like that as we go along. Alright, so this guy... Oh, we're not looking for a guy right now. We're just searching. Let's go up. I guess we saw a bunch of players run down from up here. So this is probably a way to go. Lots of bodies. And there's Ulran. Everyone else is dead. They killed everybody. Oh no. Is he dying? Oh, he's dead. Oh no. Down here. Come on. Oh shit, Vea. What's that smell? Vea, stay back. You don't need to see Oh this. no. What happened? I thought we were going to be able to help these people. Oh gods, they murdered these poor Ashlanders. That's not all they did. Oh no. All run. All run. We can't, please. You can't be dead. You just can't. Shit. I didn't expect that. Oh man. Now what? Man, we gotta go kill all these people. The captain? The captain's going down. Bea shouldn't have had to see this. <sighs> Even I'm finding it hard to believe that the mercenaries would slaughter these Ashlanders for no reason. Not to mention the son of a house counselor. Doesn't make any sense. He tried to defend them. I suppose anything could happen in the heat of the moment. But to kill a Redron, even an exiled one, that's presumptuous even for the War Claws. I wonder if Eris knows about this. I've seen these before. They use them in Eastmarch to record and send important messages. They're expensive hmm. and as rare as a sober it's the stone Nord, we got off of him. But Auron was always attracted to the contrivances of other cultures. Shall we see what it has to say? If it can shed light on what happened here, I say yes. If you're listening to my voice, know that my time is short, and what I have to say is important. Brother, is that you? Everything that happened was a deliberate act to discredit me. I need to report the event so my sister can learn the truth about her brother. You have to understand, I don't share my house's hatred and distrust of Ashlanders. So, during my normal patrol, when I heard that Ashlanders had come to Balmora and were causing trouble, I was dubious to say the least. I arrived to find one of my soldiers arguing with the Ashlanders. He spat at them, called them savages. When one of the Ashlanders objected, my soldier drew his sword. Before I could intervene, my soldier's blade struck him down. I ordered the soldier to stand down, but he ignored me and stepped toward the second Ashlander. I killed my own soldier. I had to. Before I knew it, I was dragged before the Redoran Council and exiled. I never even got to say farewell to my sister. I believe I was set up for this fall, but I don't know by who. I came to this camp for shelter, but House Redoran's reach grows ever longer. Now Captain Briven's here. I'm going to talk to them. Just in case, I made this stone for my sister Vea. Yeah, the captain straight up just killed everybody. All run. He trusted him enough to go talk Damn to him. It. What am I supposed to do now? Kill everyone involved. I agree with Ulran's assessment. Certainly sounds like someone led him into a situation guaranteed to make him fail. I can't believe he put this burden on Vea, though. What was Ulran thinking? You don't think we should continue to investigate his death? I didn't say that. Just not sure how to proceed. We're entering dangerous waters here, going up against House Redrin. 
and we don't even have a writ to protect us. So what do we do next? I'm going to take Thea and head back to our safe house in Balmora. They found our cave, but the abandoned basement is still secure. After that, I'm not sure. The Morog Tong has rules. Hmm. If I break them, I'll have to deal with the consequences. Like what? I mean, one of it's not killing without a writ, right? We can't just kill with yeah. wild abandon. We follow a code. We only execute those whose names appear on sanctioned writs. If we kill respectable citizens without a writ, that's just murder. So, without proof and a proper writ, my hands are tied. Well, maybe Consular Eris will give us a writ for the captain and his men once we tell them about his son. You do that, but be careful. We're not sure who in the House Redren is involved, and I'd rather not see you wind up like these poor Ashlanders. Well, that's sweet of you to say. Bea and I still need your help to get to the bottom of all of this. We'll see you in Balmora, hero. All right, we'll see you then. Okay, so, wow. Yikes. None of that worked out like I thought it was going to. Let's head back to town. And I think that's going to be a good place for us to take a little bit of a break today. Oh, I like the first person uh, teleport. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm having a great time. Um, I actually am enjoying this storyline a lot. And I know it's it's not really the main storyline, which involves the god of Vivek losing his power and why. But this is a great story. Uh, the characters are all relatable and very well written. And I'm just super into it. So thank you guys for being here for it. I really do appreciate you. If you are digging the series, leaving a like, subbing to the channel if you're not already, and ringing the bell. Would all be things that could help me out a lot. And I very much appreciate those that do. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out in the real world and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.